guys. Thanks for tuning in to Crowman17. I'm Crowman, if you don't know already. I've been taking it kind of easy lately. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I broke my hand last month. I've been waiting for that to recover. They, they didn't give me a cast. They didn't... They didn't reset it. I went in about mm, hours the next day, around one o'clock the next morning, uh, just to go in and see if it was broken or not. And um, if not, I would would have liked to have just left. But it turned out that it definitely was broken, and um, they had to give me a splint and I was in a splint for about a week and a half and then when I went back they gave me this what they call a flexible brace it's not really that flexible I guess it's more fle I guess it's more flexible than the um, the brace and the brace was made out of fiberglass so what happened was that the back knuckle over here uh, the knuckle broke from this bone that it attaches to. So you got you got all these bones right here, and they're kind of like they're like chicken bones, sort of, where they're long and skinny. And then there's a there's a ball on the end, and then your finger attaches to that. So I don't know which blow uh, broke it loose, but basically on my left hand, this the pinky knuckle bone broke. It, it, Somewhere on here, the ball just snapped, actually, like, just below it. And, um, you can actually go on my Instagram, Proman underscore 17 is one of the most recent photos, and you can see the, the break, actually. I, got, I was able to get a picture of it. It's kind of funny, they put you... When I went back the second time, they took a second x-ray, and then I asked them, I said, is there any way I can see my x-rays? I want to see my x-rays. And... Like they told me, because you know, I want to know exactly what I'm dealing with, but they told me, it's like, it's not like they do back in the old days. It's, it's not the same anymore. They don't have a light screen where they print out the pictures and they put the picture on, on, on the light screen and they can see they can see it. Everything's all digital now. Big surprise, right? And they said, you know, we could we could show you, but we would have to take you back behind, you know, that the big concrete block wall with the window in it. We'd have to take you back there where the staff is at to look at the computer. And that's just... Uh, we can't we can't really do that. That's just not a good idea. Um, the other option is that we we can print them out. That's the only really other thing we can do is to just print out your your X-rays, and of course they charge you for that. I was like, okay, well never mind. I'd, I'd, I'd rather I mean, if I can't if you can't just show me if you can't just show me the X-rays, and I didn't want to deal with it. So I instead when they took me to another room, I went back to the orthopedist and. They had me sitting in there for a minute, and then one guy comes in, or he, one guy brings me in, and I'm sitting there for a minute, and then he leaves, and another guy comes in who looks like a, a little bit above him. Like, I don't know what the other guy was, he was like a nurse, and then another, the other guy comes in, he's a physician, and he just he's on a computer for one second, he's like, here you go, and then just go ahead and take a look at your x-rays, and he just swings the computer around to show me, and then he, and I'll be back, and the doctor will be in here, I'm like, okay, you know, he's going to get a doctor. And I'm sitting there, and of course I'm looking at I'm looking at my X-rays, whatever, and I'm looking at of course in the room. I'm in here by myself for like a good I don't know, solid 10 minutes, 12 minutes at least, by myself. And they you know they have a sign on the wall that says you know no elect you don't know unless you've been there. Electric no electric no phone devices or electronic devices or you know, they don't want you. I guess they don't want you taking pictures or anything. But I looked around and I'm in a doctor's office. Like what what's the, I don't know. This seemed kind of weird that he's like, he's, he's just going to type up, put up his my x-rays on a computer, leave me the screen, leave me the options there, and then he's just going to leave for, for over for 10 plus minutes in a room with no cameras or anything, no, I'm unsupervised, and, and a, a sign that's basically telling me don't take a pic, don't take a picture of your x-rays in a way. But I, I'm like, oh, geez, you know, what's the worst that can happen? So I took a snapshot of, of one of my, one of my x-rays. The one that really showed the most damage, and that's the one I got up there. Um, shh, don't tell anybody. I don't know if I can get in trouble for that, but they're my x-rays. The only other option is to pay for them. I'm sorry if it's considered stealing. Anyways, um, the doctor's office was very, very pleasant. 
when I went there for the first time, I actually really liked what I saw. I was being helped by these beautiful women. And I couldn't, I, it was, I couldn't believe, well, I could believe it, but uh, what, what I was seeing, so there was like, there was three, there was, three, there was one guy, a you know, good looking guy, brought me in, uh, the same physician who brought me before, brought me into this room and where, all, where there's like three, three, um, you know, curtained off seats, they look like big, like lazy boys, it's pretty nice. And, and, and then he leaves me in there. He's basically the guy chauffeuring people in and out. And then so we got this, basically this lady who is, uh, one, one lady is, she is like, uh, the, she's a nurse, I guess. She's basically the nurse. He just kind of helps, uh, um, does the cleanup work, I guess, for whatever they're done, whenever they're done, or whatever is finished, paperwork and whatnot. And then, and then right above her it was the was the physician was another was a woman that was dressed like the guy who was chauffeuring people in, and she was basically the woman who was in charge there. And you know she was telling, okay, oh you got to do this. And she she was from India, oh beautiful Indian woman by the way, and she was so nice, so sweet, so saying really nice things to me actually. She asked me when she came up to me and she was like looking at me, looking at my hand and asking me questions. You know, did you bleed? And then she goes ask me, did you did he hit you back? And I was like, no. And it's oh you must be strong. Well, you say so, but no, she was she was so nice, she was so sweet. And then there was another girl who who was who was uh, beneath all of, both of them, and and there was another girl who was. Um, basically beneath them, who wasn't a, wasn't a, a doctor there at all. She was just a girl in, chi in training, and she was from China. And the, um, the, the other girl, the first girl who was like basically just a nurse, um, she, she had a strong African accent, and she was obviously African. She was black. And I thought that was really, I thought that, I mean, was some, I'm noticing these things, like... The, everyone in this room who's in charge is a woman. It's awesome, and I'm not saying that white people are not supposed to be in there. But I noticed that there were neither none of them were white either. It was three beautiful women, three beautiful women, and all very intelligent skilled, knew exactly what they were doing. Well, I wouldn't say they knew exactly the truth. The one in training didn't know what she was doing, but she was, you know, she, I, I could go, go ahead, take your time, do whatever you gotta do. She was wrapping it up. It was in pain, but it wasn't her fault that I was in pain. And I, I she just kept, you know, figuring out. She went back to the computer one time to her, and you know, she was like, how do I do this? Was, that, was, that was fine. She was also, all three of them, very, all the people there were just very beautiful looking people, good looking people. Uh, you know, and I, and I keep, every time I see stuff on, I'm just, I don't know, I'm sorry for bringing this up, but every time I see something like, the, these, uh, a lot of these feminists, they come on the, on, on TV and they talk about these things, I, I see these, these reports and, oh, uh, Susan Welsh uh, of YouTube, she's talking about, oh, the women are just, they're just so mistreated, and they're so treated like they're not welcome in these workplaces, and they're not welcome in the fields of science, and the field of positions and all this, and, and uh, she can't even get a speech out with somebody interrupting her. Oh, so sad. You know, I don't, I don't see that. I didn't, I didn't see that. That's not what I saw at all. I saw great people. They weren't even Americans. Not even American-born. Great people working hard who knew exactly what they were doing. They were women, smart women. So don't. I, I'm sorry. Don't tell me that women aren't welcome in this in this field. Right? They're just as welcome as anybody else. It was a really good experience I had with them, and it, it, in all, I, I enjoyed, I actually enjoyed my visit. It was a lot of waiting, but um, I enjoyed my visit. It was actually, at one point I did say, I said, uh, I said, look, I've been here for a really long time, and I'm just starving. I haven't eaten all day. Is, is what would happen if I just ran across the street? It was like a Wendy's across the street. I just ran across the street with a quack, really, really quack and got something to eat. And he said, no, don't go anywhere, you're up next. If you're not here, they call you three times, and you're not there, and the third time they call you, you go to the back of the line, you start all over, and I'm like, okay. So I just sat there and stayed hungry. Um, yeah, that was, okay, so that, that was my, my hand experience. And so lately I've, lately I've just been trying to take it easy because of what happened to my hand. I'm trying to get some recovery time. 
And as you all know, I have a big trip coming up um, next month in where we're going out to my property in Mojave. And so I'm, I'm looking forward to this so much. We've got a nice crew together of at least eight people, which is more than double how many people we had go last time. Um, well, it's about double how many we had go last time. And, and I know there's going to be a lot of work doing. I've made a decision. Pepe is going right there, too. I'm going to make it happen. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to require a lot of digging. So I, I definitely need some recovery with my hand. And um, so I, I took off, I don't know, like half, almost half the month of uh, January. Oh, not January. Yeah, I guess... The last, almost, most of the, the last week of January and almost all of this month up until my birthday that just passed, I, I had to take off because of my hand. I also want to talk about what happened at the last major rally I went to. I haven't done anything recently. It's just been so slow. 